first name is Richard. My last name is Harder. Do you know your birth date? Yeah, it's the 23rd of November. What year? What year? <laughs> I don't know. 1930? 1930? 1930? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Is it that? Oh. Whitefish Bay. Where is Whitefish Bay? <laughs> That's where my parents are, right now. Well, I guess, I don't know. I haven't heard from them for a long time. Since what? What? 70, 60, 60 something. And Whitefish Bay is in what state of the United States? The United States. Yeah, but what state? In Wisconsin? The, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you have any children? Yeah. What are their names? Well, let's see, Laura Jean and I guess you are one of them too. That's my daughter. It's your granddaughter. I know. Do you have a son? Do I have a son? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I should have. Do you know his name? No. I do. I, I somehow I do. Do you know what Alzheimer's disease is? Yeah, I know what it is. What is it? I know what it is. What is it? I don't. I don't say I don't say anything about it. Period. No. My husband has, uh, I'd like to say moderate dementia, but at the present time, I think it's getting worse daily. Um, it is a disease, which I guess people phrase it as Alzheimer's, and it's a very sad disease. It is one that um, they cannot help the way they are. It's very hard for the caregivers to understand what it's all about. His memory has progressively gotten worse. His short-term memory is completely gone. And the long-term memory is uh, not really there either. Unfortunately, along with the dementia, he has other problems such as a colonoscopy. He's incontinent, and uh, so we do have other health issues that certainly do not help to the dementia end of this episode we're going through. It is a very frustrating disease, and I find myself periodically getting very angry, and I cannot help myself, and I know I need to get out, but this is hard to do too. Life is not like it used to be, but then who said life is fair? Five minutes, five. Okay. You got something to plan? No. Okay. Nothing. Good. Yes, it's a, uh, it's a challenge. And of course, he doesn't think anything is wrong with him. That's, he thinks everything is just hunky-dory and uh, that he doesn't have a problem one. But uh, that's life. Do you remember where we were married? Yeah. Where? Up in, what was the name of the damn joint that we were? Damn joint. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> I remember that. Do you, do you remember where we got married? Yeah, it was it was a place up to the coast. Up the coast? Yeah. Does Las Vegas sound familiar? Yeah. It's, it sure does. Do you remember what happened on our way to getting married? I, I think so, but I'm not sure. Um, do you remember who went with us? Your two fraternity brothers? Yeah. Do you remember their names? Yeah, let's see, they be... I don't remember who the hell was. Kim? Huh? Kim Herzer? K Kim Herzer and the other guy. Um, I don't even remember him. I remember him too. We met on a blind date. One of his fraternity brothers that I knew up in Milwaukee. Uh, that I knew him through mutual friends. We were going out, and I wasn't going out with him, but we were going out in groups, and he just said he had a friend coming in from school, and would I like to meet him, and go out with him, and I said, sure. So we went out, and it uh, seemed like we hit it off the very first night, which is unusual, uh, and we, while he was home on uh, from school that summer, we just saw each other just about every day, and one thing led to another. <laughs> and uh, then he had to go back to school, and we decided that he was a senior at UCLA, and this was in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And so we decided we were going to get married. So we got married in Las Vegas, Nevada, November 6th. 1952 and uh, proceeded to live in California until he graduated and then he went to Korea. No, he didn't go to Korea right away. He went to uh, uh, Fort Benning because he went into the service right from college. And then we uh, moved back to Chicago and he went over to Korea and uh, I stayed here. And from then on, it was army move. And I had my daughter and my son. And we just move, move, move. You were in the army, weren't you? Yeah, I was in the army. I came in the army in 19. 30. I don't remember what year. Who gets? 1952. You came in the army. 52? Yes. You were a lieutenant colonel. I was? Yes. Oh, I was a lieutenant colonel. 20 years in the military, and then after that, he was another. 15 years with his government with civil service. He was an army helicopter pilot. Uh, served two tours in Vietnam. One in Germany and one in Korea. Helicopter. Helicopter. Well, I went to helicopter school when I went over to Vietnam. Yeah, but you went to helicopter school before you went to Vietnam. Yeah. So. Um, we will be married 57 years this November, and unfortunately life has not been good lately because of this disease. The hardest thing is seeing the deterioration, the, I did not pick out to be a nurse as my profession, but it seems to me like I'm learning a lot about different health problems. And uh, I find myself uh, worrying, uh, 
that he's going to wander off, but she hasn't done yet. He uh, likes to go out and walk around the backyard. Like right now he's walking around the pool and I have this horrible feeling he's gonna fall in. But I think he would be able to get out. Or maybe, hopefully he will not fall in in the first place. Do I have any handkerchiefs? Yeah, a whole bunch of them. How many? I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Why do you have so many? Huh? Why do you have so many? Because I got in my pocket. It's a challenge. So actually, uh, it's a, a never-ending watching. It's sometimes I think it's a little bit worse than a two-year-old as far as uh, taking care of things. an avid golfer. I've given that up in the last two years because in the last two years he's gotten progressively worse. Uh, I still belong to a bowling team but I take him with me because I cannot leave him home alone and rather than get a sitter I have to get him out of the house he's fine going. Uh, so wherever I go I usually take him with me on a a day when he has got part of his memory with him, he can dress himself and shower, he can feed himself, but as far as any, uh, he used to be quite well, good on the computer, and he used to work on cars and build computers, like I said, and, and do a lot of things that way, but he can no longer do any of that. He has no interest. Um, he just more or less follows me around the house and watches what television I watch and um, we cannot carry on really any conversations anymore because he just doesn't know what to talk about. He cannot complete a a full sentence. He, he knows the word, but he can't get the word out. It's, uh, I'm sure it's very frustrating for him, as it is for me. Forget it. Forget it. Okay. That's dead. He is not as personable as he used to be, and he, whether he knows it or not, I don't know. I can watch him when he's watching TV, and when there's funny things on TV, he, you, I can watch him smiling and laughing, and, and when it's sad, I can see him tearing up. So he has feelings, but... We will do the best that we can do. I don't play that much anymore. It's just, that's my problem. Well, you haven't been well, so... <laughs> what do you expect? Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm 
trying to keep him home as long as I can. Just because of the surroundings. I am grateful for the support of my daughter, son, and granddaughter. Without that, I don't know what I would do. I love him very dearly, but sometimes I really hate him because of everything he's putting me through. But by the grace of God, we'll get through it, hopefully. Are you happy you married me? <laughs> Much so.